Sketchbooks and drawing books are two popular tools for artists, but they serve different purposes. Understanding the differences between the two can help you choose the right one for your artistic needs. In this video, we will be comparing sketchbooks and drawing books to help you decide which one is the best option for your particular project. Now let's start the video to better understand. Sketchbook. A sketchbook is a book with blank pages that is used for drawing, sketching, and taking notes. It is a versatile tool that can be used for a variety of artistic purposes, such as brainstorming ideas, working out composition and color schemes, and practicing techniques. Sketchbooks come in a range of sizes and materials, from small pocket-sized books to large hardcover journals. One of the key advantages of a sketchbook is its portability. It is easy to carry around and work wherever you are, whether it's at home, in a coffee shop, or on the go. This makes it a great option for artists who like to work in different locations or for those who want to capture ideas and inspirations as they happen. Drawing book. A drawing book, on the other hand, is a book with pre-printed images or prompts that are used as a reference or inspiration for drawing. Drawing books are often organized by theme or subject matter, such as animals, landscapes, or still lifes. They can be a useful tool for artists who want to improve their skills or try out new techniques by working from a reference. One of the main advantages of a drawing book is the variety of reference material it provides. With a wide range of images to choose from, artists can find inspiration and practice drawing a variety of subjects. Drawing books can also be a great way to challenge yourself and try out new styles or techniques. Why do you need to use different types of paper for drawing and sketching? Technically, you don't. But from a practical standpoint, using different kinds of paper makes sense. The first rule you have to follow as an artist is that there are no set rules. You can draw on cardboard if you want to. As an artist, that's your right. But from a practical standpoint, using the right drawing surface for the right project is important for two reasons. First, you don't want to spend countless hours drawing a masterpiece on cheap paper that will yellow and fade over time. Second, you don't want to be sketching and doodling on high-quality paper that costs a lot of money. Since sketches aren't meant to be finished pieces of art, you can produce them on scrap paper, notebook paper, or anything else that is inexpensive that you happen to have on hand. On the other hand, finished drawings require an archival paper that has a surface that is designed for the medium you are working in. If you plan to have a drawing that can be shown for years, you'll need a high-quality paper. So, sketch on cheap paper to save money, and draw on expensive paper to get better results that are archival. So, which is right for you, a sketchbook or a drawing book? It really depends on your artistic goals and preferences. If you are looking for a versatile tool to use for brainstorming, sketching, and taking notes, a sketchbook may be the better option. If you want to improve your drawing skills or try out new techniques, a drawing book can provide a wealth of reference material and inspiration. Ultimately, both sketchbooks and drawing books can be valuable tools for artists. The key is to choose the one that best fits your needs and artistic goals. We are almost wrapping up. These are the common differences between these two. Hope you like this video. Please comment, share, and subscribe to this channel for more videos.